So my name is Kainz on the Tech Pro One. Today we are going to continue from where we stopped in Spring Security. Today we are going to work on uh, having to fetch login details from the database. And now it's going to take quite a number of steps, about 10 steps. Remember that this follows from the previous lesson where we actually defined some login details in the application security config file that we created that extends the web security configurer adapter interface. So at this point, if I run this application as I've done right now, and we can actually use these uh, passwords and username we created in the configuration file. So at this point, we are able to log in. But in this case, you can see that we had coded the uh, passwords and username right here. So in this case, we are going to take out this and fetch the password and usernames from the database. So let me just delete all of these at this point. All right, so how do we fetch things, everything from the database? Now, since this procedure is a bit uh, long, so I've actually broken it down into chunks. So there are 10 steps that we are going to follow. So the first one is to configure my SQL database. So if you go to the steps here, you can see that you specify the MySQL database uh, configuration properties in the properties application properties file here. Yeah. So just paste it there. I, I don't want to start typing it so we don't waste time. Uh, my MySQL port in my computer is 3301. Again, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. If you've not subscribed to my channel, click on the subscribe button right below this video so that you don't miss an update and be able to follow everything uh, as it comes. All right, so now this is my SQL configuration. You need to place this code in application properties file. And here you specify the driver class name, comes a C, uh, MySQL, a CJ, JDBC driver, specify the username, specify the password, specify the data source URL, and specify the DDL auto. Now this, you don't have to worry so much, but this is, the name of the database. So this database should actually exist in the MySQL server in your system. So let's go to configure MySQL server. Actually, let's go and create a database in MySQL server. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to uh, MySQL workbench. So, so let me see, I have my MySQL workbench installed in my system. So let me go ahead to open it. Again, you can also use uh, MySQL uh, command line if you are if you if you are very good with command line. But I think it's easier for us to use MySQL Workbench. So let me see. So uh, I've just launched it. Uh, yeah. So this is MySQL Workbench. So it's it's free. If you install MySQL Community Edition, you have this Workbench. So just go ahead to click on this local instance here, root. And then my password is also roots. So if I connect, so we are going to create the database uh, in question that we use in the application. So to do that, just go to database and just say connect to database. If you say connect to database, it opens up this window and just give your database a name in the default schema uh, test field. So just call it users db. That is the name of the database I would like to use. So just say, okay. Uh, okay, please check. Okay, so since MySQL is not running, so I'm going to just uh, start it up. In services, sometimes it doesn't run automatically. So here I'm going to look for MySQL and it says running. So I'm going to just go ahead to restart it. Okay, let's see. So, so if it starts up, uh, it should take not much time. So if it starts up, perfect. So it starts, it restarts. So yeah, it says users DB cannot connect. So let's see. So let's go here and say create new schema root. Okay, perfect. So the name of the schema is users DB. That's the name of the schema. So come here, click on apply. And just say apply, finish, and it creates the schema for us. Okay. The next thing you want to do is to come here and say create new table in the active schema. So we need to first double click on the schema. 
Okay, so let's say database, connect to database, default schema, use us, DB. I'll say OK. All right, so we are connected to this schema we created, which is a database, and now I'm going to click on create new table. This table, I want to call it user. Uh, that's all you need to do, specify the columns. So first column, I want ID. ID is going to be the primary key. And the, the next column is username, vaca is OK, and the next column is password, OK, that is fine. Uh, I think everything is OK, I'm going to just apply, just apply. All right, so finish. OK, so we've created our table, OK, yeah, perfect, OK. So we have this table created. Uh, the next thing we want to do is to insert data into this table. So the insert data into this table, there, is a, there are a number of ways we can do it. We can go to uh, query. Um, uh, OK, so OK, let's see. Um, let's see. OK, so we can just write the query here. So you can say insert into, uh, OK, first we can say use users db insert into user values so one uh, username of let's say Hercules and password of Hercules and his gifts okay password of gifts gifts okay all right so I'm inserting one single line of data so I'm going to just highlight and just click execute and it creates this row in the table so I can actually create a second one so let's me create this one and call it Achilles Achilles I think that is the spelling and the password here is going to be gold right Achilles and this gold okay perfect I'm going to just again I'm going to run it and it creates so I've configured my database, I've created uh, the database as well. So if I say select star from user and I run it, right? so you can see that it displays the, uh, the content of the database. All right, so we are done with configuration of our database. So we are done with this completely. The nice thing we want to do now is to is to now ensure that the necessary dependencies are available in the form the next ML because you need dependencies that will help you to connect to the database. This will now do in the next lesson. I'd like to thank you for viewing for now and let's see in the next lesson. And finally, remember to subscribe, or like my video, share it around and also if you have a comment, please leave it in the comment box for me below this video.